Here we are, on Deadwing, and spawned in the bottom right as the Teal Terran playing for my insanity, it is Narcotic. And he's already opened up with gas here, Barrett's also finishing up. His opponent on the other hand, the pink Zerg, Cypro. And he opened up hatch first, added in his spawning pool. And is also taking a gas. Narcotic is already moving out with a single SCV and building a Reaper behind this. So he's gonna be able to scout something out and let's see if he's gonna add in another Reaper to actually apply some pressure or if this is just the lucky Reaper to check out if his opponent is up to his micro. We'll get to see. Nope, there's a second Reaper coming out. Let's see what this first one can do. He's making his way across the map. And looks like there's not going to be a lucky scout coming in for Cypro. He's just sending that overlord across the map. So not not quite getting a lucky scout. But of course going for two queens almost immediately. Ooh, and Narcotic going for a bunker. And Cypro should have scouted this out uh, yeah, quite some time ago. But he he's just retreating his drones again. He was gonna pull drones, but not like this, not like this. Some good micro coming out of Cypro, keeping his Zerklings alive of course. But the Reaper's in there and he needs to watch out. That's the first circling down and eight more are incoming. So he should be able to deal with this. But there's a second Reaper coming in. So he still needs to watch out. And Narcotic is doing a pretty awesome job keeping this Reaper alive. And now that the bunker is done, he can apply some pressure here. Unfortunately, Reapers don't do the extra damage versus buildings anymore. That was ages ago. So. He's not going to be able to take out this hatchery, but at least apply some pressure. And will force some more Zerklings, um, maybe um, maybe even the Spine, we'll have to see. First, we'll have another Reaper coming in, so that's the third one for you. And I think that's about it as far as Reaper production is concerned. Now two Queens are wailing away at this bunker, and the drones are transferring, so yeah, looks like the bunker will be salvaged. But did he actually get his money back? I think it was destroyed before, wasn't it? Uh, might have. Uh, possibly not, but that's, that's the first Reaper going down, but ooh, 20 Zerklings in production for Cypro. Uh, maybe a little, little overreaction to this uh, little bit of harassment. Narcotic, of course, got the bunker up behind this, so um, he can be safe uh, versus any counter pressure. And is going for the 111, so Starport is incoming, and... Overlord scouted most of the main base. He scouted the gas timing, but he hasn't seen any production just yet. And that's the 20 links making their way over. They do have speed now, and it's actually 26 by now. That's a lot of links, but oh, all of this is closed off, and Narcotic has some Hellions to defend. So I don't think these links are gonna do all that much by themselves. But um, Cypher was getting a third behind this, and he stayed in gas. Oh no, he just sent his workers back into gas, so. Uh, not going to be able to do a baneling bust after this. Uh, if you do want to follow up with the baneling bust, at least have one worker in there, so you can get the baneling nest going. And then once you really decide to jump on that baneling bust uh, tactic, you gotta go for uh, more, and more, more, and more drones in the gas, of course. These links are not going to do all that much, so Cypher has some catching up to do. He's at 32 workers, uh, but so is Narcotic, and you really don't want to have a Terran at the same worker count as you. And that's a lot of Hellions already moving out. And there's a Banshee behind this, and more Hellion production to follow it up. So Narcotic has a pretty strong army already. While uh, Cypher is just caught tacking right now, he's going for the Lair attack, uh, getting, getting his evil chambers up. And... Uh, if Narcotic micros this right, he can kill pretty much all these Zerklings. And at least uh, put on some pressure to this third. Ooh, getting caught here in the mineral line, but I'm uh, saving most of his most of his aliens. And he should be able to get rid of all of these Zerklings. Yes, he can. 18 more arm production, and this queen might go down. Yes, yes it will. And that's the next one that's about to go down. Ooh, Cypro, you're in trouble, man doesn't have any de um, any defense right now. That's the links coming out and they should clear this up, at least with the additional links that are coming in. But still, the economic damage has just been disastrous for Cypro. And right now, he doesn't have any queens and that Banshee, um, 
it's making its way across the map here pretty soon. Uh, actually, does he have a single Banshee already? Yes, he does. So, one Banshee... Wait, where is it? Over here. Uh, it's sitting right on top of the army. And that's the second Banshee coming out. So he's gonna go for a double Banshee harass. And this harassment might actually kill Cypro straight on. Like, he doesn't have any defense right now. Just a single Queen. No spores available. He's not even producing any more Queens. He's just gearing up for that uh, Baneling bust. Which is gonna come so incredibly late that Narcotic should almost certainly be fully prepared for this. Let's see if the Zerglings can defend the ground attack here, but it doesn't look like Narcotic is really, really going for any more uh, ground aggression. This is mostly for defense. Maybe check in if he can get the Zerglings while they're still out on the map and off creep. But I doubt that he's uh, actually going to go for any aggression with us right now. Maybe at the same time with the Banshees. That would be a great idea, just load the entire army back out and then just make sure that Cypher is preoccupied and go in with the Banshees into the main or just anywhere where you can actually do some decent damage um, in, in the work lines. Plus one melee attack is almost done for Cypher. And I'm kind of curious why Narcotic didn't actually use his Banshees just yet. That's the Hellbat transition, and they're moving in. Workers are pulled immediately, but that's not going to help all that much. The Queen will go down down here, and Hellbat just making their way across. That's a lot of Banelings coming in, but his preemptive sp uh, splitting is pretty good. And yeah, that's all the Banelings detonating in pretty much just two or three Hellbats there, and that's the GG. Well played. Narcotic moves on to the round of 32.